good day, friends. It is me, HL Montech, and I'm back with another fun, fast lesson that's going to work with Tinkercad and the Glowforge. We are going to make ourselves a cardboard dragster. So, my friends, let's get cracking. The initial steps are pretty easy. Sign into Tinkercad. Once you're in, make sure you hit Create New Design. And then let's change the name to Dragster with our initials, and I'm on version 4. Since we're building this on the Glowforge, let's change the grid so it fits the Glowforge. This number needs to be 480. Remember, you need a backspace to make that change. And then on this side, you need a backspace and make it 280. And then when you hit Update Grid, that is what the Glowforge bed looks like. My goal here is to give you the most basic of dragsters, but then I want you to create the one that is the most epic. Simply bring out a rectangle and stretch that out till it's in the 200s. I'll let you pick the number that you want. I want you to change the height to four millimeters thick because that is how thick our cardboard is. Let's slice this so it looks like a dragster. Bring out a cube that is a hole make it way larger than the shape that we had because we want to be able to adjust and twist so it cuts the way we want rotate it to the exact degrees you think are cool and then when you set it on your shape double check and see if that is the dragster cutout that you would like i'm going to go with that one and so when i hit group you can see i now have got a dragster shape i'm going to cut off a second piece back here in the back same trick Make it larger than I need, move it up. And I like that shape right there. When I've got the two pieces together, I'm gonna group them. This is called the profile. This will be the outside of my dragster shape. Right now, I'm gonna add some wheel holes. When you bring out the cylinder hole, make sure you hold down shift, stretch it, and then type 6.4. We use six millimeter straws, so if we cut out 6.4 millimeter holes, that works pretty slick. I'm going to select the shapes, choose a line, click on the red shape because that's what I'm trying to align to. I'm going to put them right on that edge. Notice they went right to the bottom. And now I'm going to nudge it up five millimeters, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to nudge it in wherever I want. I don't have a magic number. I'm just making it how I like. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to hold the arrow key and I'm going to just nudge that to the front. I am not going to drag it because I want to make sure they say, stay at the same height. Although I'm going to make it down here because that way it will slope forward so my dragster will be lower in the front than it is in the back. And I like how that's oriented in the front of my dragster. Real quickly I am going to take those shapes and I'm going to group them. I want to add a little fin back in the back. I'm going to do that with the scribble tool. When you bring the scribble out, simply draw the shape that you want to add. Scribble's not real straight, but I don't care. I'm just having fun with this. Anyhow, the more you want yours perfect, well, that's how much effort you put into it. There's going to be my attachment. I'm going to make it a little taller. Now I'm going to sweep it forward a little bit down and back. That's one of the straightest ones I've ever made. And I'm going to do a little nudge there. And when I click done, it'll actually load and we can see how it looks on our shape. Not bad. I'm going to bring it back here and put it where I want. Let's scroll out so we can see that better. So that it fits more with what we're building, I'll change that height to four millimeters. And then I can take and stretch this as any way that I please, including rotating it so that it changes that just a little. I'm going to go with that. And when I group those, I've now got my dragster shape. So here's where it gets kind of cool. Uh, we're going to do control D and we're going to take the second one down and we're going to cut out the place where our driver sits. I'm going to cut it out with a cylinder. So there is the area, and when I group those two together, I've now got the inside, and I've got the rest. I don't like that, so I'm going to ungroup it, and I think instead of the cylinder, I'm going to do it with a box. I think that may even look a little cooler. If I click on that box, I can drag that back, so now he's got a better seating area. 
Yeah, I like that better. So this is how you lay it out in the Glowforge. Let me show you how it looks before we put it in the Glowforge. So I'm gonna do Control D, I'm gonna move these back here, and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Notice if you stay close, it's real easy. Then you can hit D to drop it so it's at the right height. Rotate this one 90 degrees as well, D to drop it to the right height. I'm going to align these so they're right together. But then I'm going to click on the middle one, and I'm going to move it over four. One, two, three, four. Without touching anything else, I'm going to do Control D to move it four more. One, two, three, four. And then do Control D again and again and again to set up the middle of my vehicle. So the plan is to simply laser cut this. So we've got one outside, we've got the cool inside, and then we've got another outside. Just so it looks cool, I'll do Control D, and then I'm gonna nudge him all the way over, just using the arrow keys to line him up. Work plane, click the flat fleece where we wanna put it, and when we hit D, it drops to that exact height. Hit work plane, go back to the normal shape, and there is your dragster. You will print two of these outsides, you will print as many of these as you pick. Right now I've got it set up for one, two, three, four, five, six. I could change that if I wanted. If I want to add a seat, watch this. Instead of the flattened out one, I do control D. And on the next one, I'm gonna go to scribble again and I'm gonna draw a sweet seat that I will print on a separate part. So I'll have three different parts for the middle of my dragster. When I hit done, I just have to attach that. I'm gonna stretch it to the size that looks like it fits the best. Stretch it up a little bit so that it sits out. Make the four millimeter adjustment. And when I group that, you can see that is the third piece of my awesome dragster. So I'd cut one, or I'd cut two of these, maybe four of these, maybe three of these, for my dragster to have its shape. Now that I see what it looks like, I can delete this, I don't need it anymore, and it's time to make awesome wheels. We're gonna make the wheels with a cylinder. I'm gonna hold down shift and stretch them so they stay wheel shaped. That's gonna be an awesome back wheel. Do make sure you make it round. I'm gonna make it four millimeters thick so that it looks like the cardboard and press enter. I'm only gonna put one of these in the Glowforge template. And then when I align it in the interface, I'll make many more. We do need to cut a hole in this wheel. Let's bring that out with the whole cylinder. I'm gonna hold shift and stretch it. Put the number six in there because that's the exact size I see. I'm gonna grab those two items and I'm gonna click center. I want to center on that shape. Notice all of a sudden the dots come right to it. And when I group it, I have got my back wheel all created. Let's really quickly make front wheels as well. Bring out that cylinder, hold shift to stretch it to the size you like. Make sure you make it round. I'm gonna change the thickness to that four millimeter mark just so it looks more realistic with our cardboard. Take a quick peek. That's a nice size for a front wheel. We need to do that hole again to cut in it. Make sure you hold down shift, stretch a little, type the number six and press enter. I'm gonna grab both of those, choose the align tool, click on the wheel and do center and center so it's all set up and finally group it to make the wheel like it should be. I'm gonna make my back wheels a little fancy. Watch this, if we do control D and we ungroup it, I want it to look like it's got a hubcap, so I'm going to take the center hole and delete it, bring out a new center hole, and I'm going to hold down shift and stretch it so it's partially as big. See how that's going to sit in the middle? I'm going to grab the two of them, I'm going to hit a line, click the orange, center, center, and group. So when we print this, I'm going to just show you real quick. If I drop that to the same height and I center them, I'll be able to put two of these on the outside of my tire and it'll look sunk in. It'll be a really cool 
design. I'll probably do three or four of the real wheels and then two of these so the hub will be inside. You could do that with the front as well. It's up to you. Right now I'm going to drop it back to the work planes and notice they are all flat. And I am ready to save for 3D printing. We're going to export these as pieces. So click on the first piece, choose export. Remember we're doing laser cutting, so do SVG. If you're in my classroom, hit that STL folder, right click out in the white space and do new folder and type dragster with your name. So there's my dragster MDH. And then when I go in there, I'm gonna save each piece separately. The first one I'm gonna rename is dragster body one. The second one still export SVG. This one will be dragster body cutout. The third one will be dragster body seat. Then I need to export the wheels. Once again, it'll be large wheel. Then it'll be small wheel. And then it'll be wheel cutout. In the Glowforge software, you'll need to hit upload. You'll have to find that folder and then you need to import them one piece at a time. I'm gonna do the wheels separate because the bodies are quite large. The first one I brought in is the cutout side. I'm gonna set the settings to my one, 200, one, four millimeter. And then I need two of these, so I'm gonna do control C and control V. But I'm gonna take the second one and I'm gonna flip it. So I use my cardboard as wisely as possible. When you've got that one arranged, upload your other one. Let's go for the seat. I'm gonna choose to make three of these so that there are three chunks in the middle of my shape. Once again, set the setting, move it over, control C, control V, and control V again to get those arranged. The straighter you get these, the closer you are to 90, uh, the quicker your cuts are and the better it is on the cardboard. Maybe putting them in vertically is better than horizontally, but that's how I'm gonna do this. And now I need to get the sides. Once again, add, upload, and it was body one. Set the settings, move it where it's cuttable, control C, control V, flip it and arrange it, and we are ready to cut the body out of our vehicle. Now because of how much cardboard this is using, I am not gonna do the wheels at this time. We do have to set the material, or you can click that button, choose uncertified, and we need to set it to four millimeter cardboard. And then these are ready to be cut. Before I set up my wheels, I came up with an idea. I want a little hubcap. I want this hubcap to be 15 millimeters across. So I'm gonna hit 15 and press enter after I shift squish it. Once again, I'm gonna do the four millimeter height and I'm gonna bring out that hole that is six millimeters. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these on uh, so that it looks cooler when I actually attach my wheels. Grab those two shapes, align them, center, center. I'm also gonna make sure that I've got it totally circular because that just looks better as well. And then I'm gonna take that tiny piece when it finishes grouping and I'm going to export it in the same folder, SVG, and we can set up the wheels in the Glowforge software. Once again, when you hit upload, let's bring in the large wheel, and this is my cool outer ring. I'm gonna do my settings for the one 200, 400, and I want three of these on each side of the wheel. So I'm gonna do Control C and Control V 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 until there are six of these. So there are two big dragster wheels in the back, three of these outer rings on each of my dragster wheels. Arrange them so that you can get them to fit however it takes. Once again, trying to use your cardboard as efficiently as possible. And then bring in the second part. I'm gonna upload the plain large wheel set its settings just like we did the other one and then i want to make four of those so i'll move one over control c control v i can fit another one right in there and then this time i'm going to grab those two copy and paste the pair of them so it's a little bit quicker as i arrange them 
And now I'm gonna do my front wheels. Upload again. This time it is the small wheel. I only need a total of four of these. Do have to enter the settings. Control C and Control V. Once again, I'll do the trick where I grab two at a time. Control C, Control V, so they're a little quicker to place. And then also I want to get that fancy little hub I added, just so everything looks a little bit more slick when we're done. These are optional, but I do think they make it look a little cooler. Same settings. And then I can put these anywhere. I'm actually going to put these inside. Control C, Control V. Control V. And Control V. Because I only need four of these. If you accidentally stretch it, do Control Z. And then make sure you grab on a spot where it actually moves and cuts. I'm going to use this a little bit more wisely or efficiently by actually putting these little circles uh, or the front wheels inside some of those back wheel cutouts. So that way my cardboard is as f efficient as possible. That looks good and we've already set the four millimeters so we're ready to cut our wheels. And here you can see my assembled version. You can see I just glued these all together. The seat is inside, and then as soon as I glued it, I also put in some axles, which of course are just six millimeter straws that you can get from someplace like, say, McDonald's. And that way they stay lined up for when I actually add the wheels in a minute. All right, friends, let's add that rear wheel. First, you slide that straw through. Then you slide your wheel through, leaving room for the little hub piece. Make sure that you only get glue on that hub piece because you do not want glue by your wheels. And then when you get the glue on there, let it sit for a minute as it cools. And then you should be able to leave a little bit of gap and have a sweet spinning wheel. All right, so measure up so that you've got the straw so it's going to poke out that other piece. You do want a little bit of a gap in between them so that they're easy to roll. So that's going to spin fine. And then this is super important. Make sure you put the hub on before you hot glue because you don't ever want hot glue to get on the straw close to the cardboard where it spins. So now I can put my hot glue out here to lock it in place. And when we're done, there will still be a gap and the wheels will spin like a dream. Give it time to cool and then do the front wheels. All right, so simply repeat the process for the other side. Once again, I'm going to glue it let it cool so that way it doesn't wiggle while I move the other side. You want to make sure the glue is on the outside of that hub so that the wheel still spins easily on the axle. Alright, I let that cool for a moment. Let's slide the axle through. I'm going to mark that distance. And repeat the process. Slide that hub on and make sure the glue is on the hub part not the wheel part. And after a couple moments, you've got a dragster with moving wheels. Don't forget to unplug the hot glue gun, friends. Alrighty, friends, so here is our sweet dragster with all the moving wheels. Uh, things you can add, you can have a roll cage, steering wheel, you can put a flame on the outside. There are so many cool ways that you can make these more awesome. I just want to get you excited about how you can take a design, glue them together, add the axles with the straws, and boom, create something totally awesome. If you do make something incredible out there, please take time to share it with us. You can find us at HO Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.